Hey guys, this is Tonks319. So, today I'm going to be reviewing Rita Skeeter's Quick Quotes Quill and Notepad from The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So, I am really excited about this. I actually got it in back in November, but I am reviewing it now. And, um... I had been looking for a really long time to find one of these when I went to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and then I found this there and so I got it because I was wanting one of these. So the top of the box has like these swirlies and a border going across there. There's a space in between there and there for some reason. Looks kind of cool and there is no line on the ends. Um, it has a kind of cream colored bow on the edge. Um, and then here is the Harry Potter logo. It says the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And made in China and I got it for $24.95. And it's just a green box. My corner is a little messed up. I dropped it. But, um, just a green box. And then you untie the bow. Open it. And here is the quill. Um, the nib, if you can see it in my camera. I don't have a very good camera. Focus, please. Okay, it doesn't really want to focus, but if you can't see, um, it's there's like a silver, silver kind of point, and then there's gold, and there's actually um, um, a little engraved, sorry, um, an engraved design um, around there. You can't really see it, and I got ink on it trying to use it. I haven't been able to get it to work very well, actually. Um, it won't really write. Um, and then here there's a bunch of fun green feathers. And then coming up here on the grip, it's actually not where it's easy to grip. That is not how I would choose to write. I'm not left-handed, I'm just filming with my right hand. So, excuse my left-handedness. And then, so, yeah, I would usually probably hold it down here, but that's weird. So, this is not really a writing tool for me. And then, um, there's like some symbols on there. And it's kind of an acid green color. And then it's just a green, kind of dark green feather. Um, the feather's a little bit squished. Um, so it makes it thinner, look thinner. And the top is a bit squared off. Which I would prefer it not to be squared off. I'll see if I can fix it and cut it a little bit. But, um, yeah, that's my quill. Um, then, in here, comes with this notebook, which, there's this ribbon here, and you pull it up, and it says, Quick Quotes Quill Notepad, property of Rita Skeeter. Oh, my feathers are falling off. Anyway, it says property of Rita Skeeter. It's got spiral binding. And then on the back, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And then we've got kind of a parchment kind of paper in there. It's just printed to look aged. Um, but it's you can't really see it, but it's all the same design like you can see that stain there and there and there and there it's 
just printed a bunch of times. Um, so that's the notepad. And then the actual box, the um, inside, is just kind of an acid green with this step down for the notepad so that when the notepad goes in, it's pretty much even for the quill to go on top. And you close the box um, and tie the ribbon, but I'm not going to tie the ribbon right now. And then, while we're on the subject of quills, I'm going to show you some of my other quills. Let's start with the, hmm, let's start with the first one I got. Okay, so here's this one. Hold on a second. Um, so it came with this ink. Um, I haven't put it in because I use it with other quills too. But it's got this, like, nib picture on top. And it's basically just a bottle of ink. It's dark brown. Oops, I dropped it. Um, it's got some cool drawings on it. But yeah, that's the ink. Hold on, I gotta open it. It's got like a magnet inside the box so when you close it it just magnets down but um so it came with lots of nibs nibs nubs i don't know how you just how do you say it i think it's nibs anyway so I, this one on here on the quill is actually from that missing slot because they didn't give me one in the quill and it comes up, there's that piece there, and it is a gray feather. This is a pretty small quill. Um, I don't know how long it is. I'm trying to measure it with my hand, it's not working though. So, I don't know, it's about as long as my hand. But, you know, my hand's not very big. It's pretty, it's really pretty. I like how it comes to a point up there, unlike the Quick Quotes Quill. And it's a really nice quill. It works really well. Um, and then this other kind of pen thing that came with it, it's also pretty cool. It came with a nub, so nib so I don't have to use one of those. These I can actually probably put on some other quills, I'll have to see. Um, and here, this, it's just kind of black wood with some ridges up at the top. It's nice, I don't usually use it. Um, I usually use the feather because it's more, you know, Harry Potter spirited. I don't know. And then inside the box, it's kind of marbled. Um, oh, and I got this at, um, where did I get this? At Sutter's Fort in Sacramento in the gift shop. It was my first quill. It's really fun. Okay, moving on. This is the most recent quill I've gotten. It didn't come in a box. It's just a really pretty navy blue quill. And, hold on if I can get the camera on it. It's got this gold nib. Um, I actually have not tried writing with this yet, as you can see, because there's no ink on the tip yet. But, I have two other inks that I've um, hold on, I'm not going to do that one. I have this ink that's, um, it's red ink. It's kind of paint-like. It's very thick. It's not, it's just very intense color, and I thought it was paint, but it said ink on it. Um, but it kind of stains your quills, so if you get this at Michael's, you got to be careful with it. Um, and then I have these quills here. Oh, and the blue one I got 
at the Tower of London in the gift shop. I like gift shops. But here I have these two white quills. They're really just feathers. Um, I haven't put the... I haven't figured out how to attach nubs to them. i would probably just super glue them. But let me show you what I can do. Here, I'm going to put that to hold it up. You know what? I'm just going to... You are going to have a wonderful look at my cardboard. Um, but if we... We take this piece off of the quill here. Take this piece off. You can put it on one of these. I'm not actually going to put it on because it, I can't hold the camera and put it on. Um, there we go. I got it. Then you can just put it on and write with it like that, and it will work. But you know, it's like one or the other. You can't, like, display them all. But, I guess if you display it, you don't really have to have it work. <laughs> right? But I just got these at Michael's, too. It was a pack of four. I don't know where my other two went. I think they're in a drawer somewhere. Um, but then, I have this black one. This is actually my sister's. There's a bunch of ink spilled in there. I don't know what she did. Um, she got this at Barnes & Noble. Um, just came in kind of a cheap looking box. Um, sh she got it for $16.95. Um, and then... Um, this um, has this kind of cool, like... I don't know, bump ball thing there. And then like bamboo kind of texture up there. And then it's a really elegant, perfect, actually it's a perfect feather. Black feather, except a little hole in there. I don't know how that happened. But it comes to a perfect point. At one point this was an absolutely perfect feather. So, maybe a little unrealistic. But, you know, you can buy it at one of those really expensive quill shops. And then in this um, hole here came this blue ink. Um, it's a really pretty color. I like it a lot. It looks like it would be thick, but it's not as thick as that red ink. Um, so, yeah. Those are my quills. Thanks. Bye.